So now we're going to do the galvanic skin response. And the galvanic skin response is actually very useful for small fiber neuropathies. These are neuropathies that give you pain and, and burning in the feet. In fact, you can't even have the covers when you're lying down in bed cover your feet because it will trigger a burning sensation. Now, unfortunately, these are not easily detectable by routine nerve conduction studies, so we do the galvanic skin response to find out if the condition is due to a small fiber neuropathy. Now, the difference between uh, these studies and the routine nerve conduction studies is we're going to use two channels. So we're going to put electrodes right here in channel one and also right here in channel two. So in channel two, I only need to put the black electrode and also I need to put the red electrode. The green electrode is good enough for both sides at the same time. Here we go. So this is the setup that we use for the galvanic skin response. You see both channels are now connected. And because they are connected, now we have to put the electrodes from each channel in one place. So we, channel one electrodes will go on the hand, and channel two electrodes right, right here, and channel two electrodes are going to go on the foot. So channel one electrode, we're going to put the active electrode, the black electrode, on the back of the hand like so, and the reference electrode on the palm of the hand like so. And then we're going to put the ground electrode, which is the green, somewhere around here. So for the leg, for the foot that is, we're going to put only the black active electrode and the red reference electrode. And the black, again, is going to go over the back of the foot, like so. And the red electrode is going to go Again, there's no need to put the green electrode because we already have one green electrode in place. And so the red electrode, the reference electrode, I'm just going to put like this at the bottom of the foot. You can't see it, but it is at the bottom of the foot. So now in order to do the test, all I have to do is stimulate the median nerve. And by stimulating just the median nerve, we're going to get a response both from the hand up here and from the foot. The response is going to be slow because it's going to take some time to go up and come back, but it will appear. Here we go. And here I do not do this with raising gradually the stimulus intensity. I put the stimulus intensity at 40 right away and I give her one shock, just one shock. And then theoretically you're going to see some activities right here and right, you're going to see two lines at the same time that's coming from the hand and it's coming from the from the foot. So basically I'm going to put this like so right there like I'm, I stimulate usually for the median nerve. Make sure I have enough cream. Like I'm stimulating for the median nerve. Here we go. And I give her just one shock. So now I put the stimulator at 40 right away. In other words I don't raise it gradually because I just want to give her one shock to see the reaction from both the hand and the foot at the same time. Relax here. Here we go. Just one shot. And we got the response. And the response is stored. And as you see, it's a huge response. So I'm going to decrease the sensitivity a little bit to see it better. We'll bring it down here. And that's the response from the hand, right there, the top one. Uh, again, I need to decrease it a bit more. This here is the response from the foot, that red one there. And this here is the response from the hand. And as you can see here, the hand has a much better response than the foot because when you have a neuropathy, when you have an injured nerve or a diseased nerve, the hand is involved much later than the foot is, so the hand response is much 
greater than the foot response and also occurs earlier than the foot response. And that's the galvanic skin response.